Now, the Tamil Teaching Hospital has opened itself for judgment debts that have the potential of drying up its coffers. That's the verdict of auditors who investigated activities of the hospital two months ago after discovering that some two companies were given the contract to supply examination gloves and gauze rolls worth nearly half a million Ghana CDs, even though they did not participate in the tendering process. The Auditor General is recommending prosecution of the Chief Executive and other staff uh, at the Tamale Teaching Hospital. Remember, uh, every hospital does a lot of audits uh, in recent times. We'll, we'll bring you details of that, uh, plus more we're getting from the hospital shortly. Head of our health desk, Fred Smith, has joined me now in the studio. Fred, good afternoon to you. Afternoon. Why is this story important for me and for anyone in Tamale who's watching? Well, because the auditors are worried that if any of those companies, the, two, uh, the companies that won the bid to supply those items uh, that were not given, decide to go to court, then uh, they are likely to win the case. And that would mean that the hospital will have to pay huge judgment debts. And it will also mean that they won't have money to provide the very uh, essential needs for patient care. Okay. That means that if you're sick and you go there, the hospital cannot provide uh, the, the best of care for you. How did we get to this point? Well, we, we got to this point because the company, uh, the hospital, I mean, mm. last year, March, they opened bids for companies who were interested in supplying some items to it to place bids or to participate in the uh, tendering process. Some companies came, about 30 of them, and all of them, you know, bought the tendering forms and uh, documents that were supposed to, they filled out and they competed. End of the day, they had two companies that were selected. In fact, letters were issued to them and they were supposed to start supplying, pending uh, the green light from the hospital's management. That green light never came. Uh, all all the, the head was that some two new companies had been contracted to supply these items. And I tell you what the two companies are, Haske Limited and Mahasa Limited. These are the two companies. We don't have any information on Mahasa Limited yet, but we have a lot of information on Haske Limited. It's owned, uh, according to uh, uh, rec records at the Registrar General's Department and a BNI report that indicted the Director of Pharmacy, Abdullahi, uh, uh, Hamidou Abdullahi, and the other lady. They, they co-own this company. Mm. So the other lady is Madame Al Hassan. She's a nurse at the Tamale Teaching Hospital as well, and uh, they were married until uh, a few months ago. Uh, they are currently, uh, you know, in going through the process of getting a divorce. Get, getting a divorce because Hamidu Abdullah went to marry some two other women. And uh, as I mentioned, I'll bring in you why those marriages are important. Okay, but just for clarity, for those who are following at this point, that element is important because of what? There could be a possible conflict of interest? There could be a possible conflict of interest. One of the women, actually, uh, in another report that was issued by the auditors, uh, the, uh, that person works with Ernest Chemist. And Ernest Chemist uh, also has Mr. Abdullah Hamidu as the rep for the northern region, Upper East and Upper West. And therefore, they raised issues about how monies were being paid to NS chemists for the supplies they made in a very frequent manner. Uh, the Whilst others were not getting the same. Okay, so just for clarity, this same person who is the rep for NS chemist is the director of pharmacy at the Tamil Teaching Hospital. Tamil Teaching Hospital, uh, possible conflict of interest situation. Okay. In this. And so, uh, for this, the auditors are warning that if any of these two companies that won the bid decide to go to court, then we will come. Uh, to the point where judgment debts uh, will be coming in the way of the hospital. All right. Thank you, Fred Smith, uh, with those details on that particular story. We're, we're built to speak to management of the Tamil Teaching Hospital for more on this. We're yet to get them. If we do, we'll bring you that interview.